Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, these damn cats. Today we have. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, so today we have a nice big empties video. Big empties video. We have been incurring lots and lots of empty products, and I've even like not saved some products just because I don't want to deal with them in another empties video. Um, so we have like a butt ton of stuff, so let's just, wow, that was loud. Let's just hop right into it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go in no particular order today just cause we're trying to get this shit filmed. Um, <laughs> so we have the Batiste Dry Shampoo Cleaning Classic Original. Cleaning Classic Original is my favorite scent. Um, all of them suck for reference, but this one's the best. I actually smashed your finger in the trash can. It's good dry shampoo. It's the only dry shampoo we buy because it's cheap and it's effective and it's wonderful. So 10 out of 10. This is not the large size, unfortunately. Um, next, I went through this Tree Hut uh, Tahitian Vanilla, vanilla Bean. Moisturizing shave oil. It soothes skin and helps protect against cuts. I do really, really like this product. I just got the rose scent because I wanted to restock on it and I far prefer the vanilla. I feel like the rose is really strong. Like, like you may as well have just dumped out a bottle of perfume in your shower strong. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> I like this one more. It also, I, I always, I think it's worth mentioning. It's a thick oil. So it, like in theory, like I imagine that to be like a body oil. So in theory, it, it's like you run through it like water, but it actually like does go a long way. Yeah, like, like it doesn't one pump for your whole. It's body. not like super crazy. So yeah. I I really like it. it. It works. Um, oh, and I haven't had razor burn in a while, so I'm gonna say it's due to that. Um, then I have the Kenra Dry Burst Instant Soft Hold Volumizing Spray Number Three. This is my favorite product of all time. If you wanted to see how much I love it, you can go check out my pixie cut styling video um, that we can link. But this shit is the bomb. I now have two backups because when I ran out of this, it went out of stock for weeks and I was in tears. <laughs> uh, so we have two of the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Body Butters. Um, this is in the Fig uh, Be Giving Vanilla Vanilla Fig Scent. I. I mean, we've talked about this before. It's like one of the best body butters on the market, in my opinion. Uh, the only thing is that we fly through it, and it's, it's like not forty cheap. bucks a ton. It's not cheap. So um, if you can find it on a sale, like I highly, highly recommend it. And a little does go a long way if you're like a regular person, but we like to really saturate our body in lotions and things. So it it doesn't take long to go through these, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, this is the Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Salt Scrub. Um, this one is in Restore and Replenish. Now that I'm kind of over my Franken Body Coffee Scrub phase, I do like phase, it. This is like this I is love this scent. This one smells like grapefruit and like citrus and happiness. Um, it's not like the most coarse so, scrub, you know? Yeah. The one thing to it's mention, like, it's also not super soft either. Is if you have any sort of cuts, don't use that. Yeah, because it'll burn like hell because it's a salt scrub. Um, but I do like it. It's cheap and it's. Effective. effective enough so um i don't really feel one way or the other otherwise though they like, have the other dr teal scents in this oh they do mm -hmm. Call it mm. and then a giant tub of aquaphor um i don't know that we need to harp on how much we love aquaphor much but we have it like is, 12. <laughs> we have so many aquaphors i have another tub like this that i'm working on um and it's funny because i bought this initially thinking it was a giant body butter like not paying attention one day and it, and I was like, what am I gonna do with this tub of like Vaseline stuff? And now we've been through two. Everything. I slather my body in it, my lips, my under eyes, my forehead, my cuticles, my toes, anything that I can put aquaphor on, I put aquaphor on. So love you. All right. Uh, we went through two Neutrogena body oils. Um, we I started using the Target brand just because I noticed that the sesame formula doesn't irritate my skin or my eyes. So I even though it's slightly fragranced. Yeah. yeah. Yes, babe. Anyway, these are great, but if you can tolerate the non-fragrant, fragrance-free version, um, I would go with that, like the Target or a Walmart brand, because it's cheaper. Because these are like 10.99 a bottle, and they're a lot smarter. A lot. 
a lot smaller a lot smaller than the target one um but these are really wonderful um we have a vanna cream for sensitive skin um this is supposed to be like the cerave moisturizing cream without any ceramides i didn't feel that was the case i did not enjoy maybe this one does have ceramides i didn't enjoy using this on my face I, I used it on my body and it was fine. It mm. smells like accepted by the National Eczema Like a pool. But it's good. It's good enough. I just far prefer CeraVe moisturizing cream on the face. And then this is the Nair Bladeless Shave Whipped Cream Softens and Soothes Skin um, Infused with Lavender Oil. Um, this, I ran through this in one leg. So if that tells you how long my fucking legs are. Um, Anyway, I don't like this on my legs. I like it for my bikini line. It's just a danger zone because one time in high school I used it on my bikini line, but like more than my bikini line, I got a chemical burn in that really fun spot. So, um, warning, be careful. This does not have a ton of product. However, it is really nice for like armpits and bikini line. It does work on my armpits. For whatever reason, Nair does not touch my bikini line or my leg hair. I can't get it to work for me. Works on my bikini line and my armpits, not my leg hair though. This Soap and Glory Call of Fruity Bubble in Paradise Refreshing Body Wash. Um, this was fine. I mainly got this for uh, my daughter because she loves to abuse soap. That's the other one, but yeah. Well, I, this one too. Oh, okay. That's why I got it initially. I really like the scent of Soap and Glory products, and that's why I always try and buy them. Like, even though the oh, face wash is so good. It just smells so good. Hard enough for me. Um, but it works just fine for me. Like, this is a fine body wash. I would. It washes my it, body. It washed my body. That's it. Uh, and then this is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This is like my favorite thing ever. Um, I have, yeah, I've, I've gone through way too many of these, but I did uh, switch to the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream, and I do like that one a lot as well. It doesn't have the same texture as this. They're good for different purposes, um, but I, I probably will pick this up when I'm done with the Cetaphil one also. It's great for body, great for face, like my favorite night cream ever. And then this is the Neutrogena Daily Control 2-in-1 Dandruff Shampoo Plus Conditioner. Plus conditioner? No, I would never do that with this. Um, I have to use a product like this to keep my hair from not being greasy. Nothing works on me anymore except for a dandruff shampoo. Um, this is my favorite, actually. Um, I have a giant thing of head and shoulders upstairs, and I do like that one, but this one works just a little better for me. It's just I can't always find this where I'm at, so... I've just been going with, with head and shoulders, but I do really like this if you have an oily scalp. I don't, I think I do have dandruff, but I don't really know, so I haven't noticed. Okay, so maybe it works. Maybe I don't have dandruff because of it. <laughs> anyway, this is my U-Tan um, Turbo Self Tan Mousse. This is the Cherry Almond Scent. There's a little bit more in here than I thought, so it's not quite empty, but it wouldn't pump last time I attempted to use it. Um, this is my favorite self tanner of all time. Um, that's all I have to say on the matter. Look at how gorgeous and uh, not that tan I look in comparison to you. <laughs> um, and then this is the Rose Petals, the Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water Facial Toner. Super hydrating, super wonderful, smells lovely. Um, normally I wouldn't use something with scents, but I do like this quite a lot. Hello, Charlotte. Um, and I've been through two of these. I have another. Gonna hang out here? I guess she'll be joining you. And then this is my Mia Secret Fusion UV LED Monomer, odorless monomer. So you have to cure this under a um, LED light. This works well enough for me and my little deals. So uh, this is what I keep buying because it's odorless. It's not odorless, <coughs> but it's odorless enough. Odorless. It doesn't smell like monomer. Lastly, the La Roche Pousse Anthelo 60 Cooling Water Sunscreen Lotion. Cooling Water Lotion Sunscreen. Um, <laughs> this is one of my favorite products of all time, and we have been through about. We've been using it for what, two years now? Yeah. I saw it on uh, Taylor Wynn's channel a long time ago, and I've been hooked on it ever since. Yep. Um, this. We're filming a video. You are all blue from that free roll up. Um, this is the. What is this, Paul Mitchell? Mm -hmm. I don't know. The Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special Shampoo. Um, I wanted to like this more than I did, honestly, because I was hoping it would be something that's like semi-okay for my hair while still helping me maintain a not oily scalp, but that was just not the case for this. Um, so, whatever. And this is the Handcraft Blend Sweet Almond Oil. Um, Rachel used this the most, but it's a great, like, really thick body oil uh -huh. uh, which I really like and a bath oil yeah, and yeah. it's really good for baths 
But yeah, it's it's super, super, super thick. And I, I felt like it left such a good, like thick residue on me. So it really made me feel moisturized. Like this is what I did when I really needed a good, like self-care body routine. I'd splatter this all over my body. And we have a tub of L'Oreal Quick Blue. This is the bleach that we always use to uh, bleach out our hair. And it has been miraculous. It's it always, works. it's the best bleach on the market, I think. Um, and then we have a Salon Care, just like the Sally's brand, 10 volume cream developer. And 20. 20 volume, but a bigger one. And again, I like this brand. I like what this does as a developer. Um, this is the Valentino acrylic system. Um, this one is the clear, crystal clear. Sorry. In crystal clear, so just clear acrylic. I do really like this. For clear acrylic, I'm fine with Mia's secret, but for colors, I really like Valentino. Um, this was the Dr. Bronner's uh, Lavender Pure Castle Soap. I loved this, Vic hated it, I adored it. It does dry out your skin. Oh, it, was, it makes me feel so yucky. It is a little icky feeling, but I like the scent. I like that it can be diluted, so you don't need very much of it. Um, I got my flower. Awesome, and all of that. Uh, lastly, this is the COSRX Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. Um, I loved this shoot. Um, but I got the Hyaluronic Acid Cream that Vic had, and I really liked, I thought I really liked it, but it pills with my stuff. It's, I much prefer this one. Uh, these are the Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkle Peel Pads. Tampons, exfoliants. <laughs> uh, I think I got these at like TJ Maxx one time. It took us, like, it took freaking forever to Four go through them. Four years to go through them. Yeah, like they were dead old. I normally would just use these like on my neck if I had like self-tanned or uh, on my legs if they really needed exfoliated because it, I don't know, it was old. I already got it at TJ Maxx and then on top of that, we don't, we never use them. Uh, but they were good if I was having like a rough skin week, you know, like really get all the stuff out. So, I mean, they are good for that purpose, but I don't really know how fantastic they are for you mm -hmm. otherwise. Careful, um, and this is the Ordinary uh, Virgin Marula Oil. We go through these all the time. You guys know it's great facial oil. I've been talking about this since like we started the channel. Oh yeah. Um, this is the Pharmacy Honey Potion uh, re Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. Um, this is like an exfoliating mask. I feel like it's marketed kind of weird because it mm -hmm. seems like something that's going to be just like ultra nourishing and it's like, it stings. Like it definitely burns. Um, I do really like it though. I think we got this in a boxy charm a while back, but I love the packaging and it was such a weird texture. It really did feel kind of like honey, like it was sticky. Then you'd like rub it in with some water. Wild. Yeah. And then this is a mini of the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Balm Intense Repair Moisturizing Cream. Apparently I really liked this. It was really good. I think I only used it once, but I try. I know I tried to buy it, that's all. And I didn't get the right thing because I actually didn't look at the package. I just guessed when I was at Ulta one time. Righty folks, so we've got some more empties. Um, this is the Iro Iro uh, Pastel Aqua, 230 Pastel Aqua. I did the TikTok with this dye. Everybody loved it, everybody loved me. Um, it was great, I loved this color. This was one of the most beautiful pastel blues, faded perfectly, loved it. did it. fade super, super fast though, so if you're looking for like long term longevity, a pastel blue is just not gonna do it for you most of the time. Yup, um, and then I have two well, uh, Valentino base and gel top coat, UV. Um, these were good. I feel that any base and top coat gel will do. Don't want to spend additional money on them. Careful. You're going upstairs. You're going upstairs. Okay. Are you going to watch your movie? Yeah. Okay. We'll be up in a few minutes, okay? Okay. Um, this is the Mia Secret uh, Extra Bond Acrylic uh, Primer. Sorry for our loud stairs, I can't help it. Um, this is great. I don't feel you need to buy anything but the cheapy Mia Secret one. And this is the Good Molecules Squalene Oil. Lord, I was like, Good Molecules is so cheap, they may as well just be freaking uh, the ordinary. What is this? A mini? It is like a trial size. What am so I supposed strange. to do with this? 
what am I supposed to do with this? Um, that being said, this was decent. I don't think it's any better than the Marula oil from The Ordinary, uh, which is cheaper. And lastly, this is the M Greengrass Fragrance Beach Air, inspired by Greece, multi-use for body, face, and hair. It's an oil. I would not recommend using it on your face nor your hair. Um, this is super, super fragrant. We got it in a boxy charm, I think, like two years ago. Yeah. And I used it up this summer just when I was like outside or whatever. Um, even though that's, I know you're not supposed to. The fragrance notes are bergamot, citrus, white, jasmine, Brazilian softwoods, and heliotrope and musk. It smelled really strong, but it worked. It's all right. I think I got this like in a gift book purchase at Ulta. Um, this is the Josie Moran Broad Spectrum SPF 47. Daily moisturizer. It's a daily moisturizer with SPF 47. Um, I normally use this as like a primer. Like I just set it in our makeup vanity and I would throw this on before I put my makeup on. This was a nice product. Um, I would probably buy the full size. It's just I'm very dedicated to the sunscreen I'm currently using. So um, I just don't want to add something with fragrance and that's why I haven't bought it. Oh, does it have fragrance? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't remember. But yeah, it's, it's a nice product, but that's about all I felt about it. And then we have some good old Mac Fix Plus. We went through a phase where we were like going through these like water, and we stopped, and then we had and then we started again. <laughs> and now, now, we're, now we're out of Mac Fix, Mac Fix Plus, I think we call yeah. together. Um, but this is one of the best like finishing sprays on the market, in my opinion. If you really want to meld your makeup in, it definitely has like a terrible spray, super soaker spray. Good amount left in here, I guess. Um, but I, I actually find that it's good for that reason because it really really does like dampen your powders you know or something to yeah. make it look like skin so if you powder i definitely would recommend fix plus but something to note is fix plus is always in ulta's 21 days of beauty for either buy one get one 50 or 50 percent yeah. off so if you're somebody who loves that stock up then um then we have this fresh sugar peach hydrating lip balm i far prefer the mango flavor the peach almost made me nauseous I hate the scent of it so much, um, but I do really like these lip balms for whatever reason, even though I don't really think they hydrate me. Um, I just like them. I like the packaging. I like that I feel luxe using they are, an $18 I lip do balm. like them. I like but them. But that's it. Like, they're not as effective. It's like an aquaphor for me, but, but they're they a cute gift. fun. Yeah, I like them. I like having the fun scents. And then we got some Wella T18. So... Okay, so we have a metric F ton of setting sprays here. So I'm going to give you sort of a speed review style. Catrice Dewey's... Catrice Dewey Spray, one of the best on the market. No also, longer on Ulta. It's not? Nope. I wonder if they discontinued it. They better not. Ooh, this is, I love, this is one of the best, like, dewy setting sprays ever. Thanks, Taylor. Uh -huh. Thank you, Taylor Wynn. Um, the Elf Dewy Coconut Setting Mist is also really, really, really good. Um, you'll notice there's a theme. We like dewy things. So um, most of our setting sprays are dewy-ish. Uh, this is another one that is really good if you don't have access to the Catrice one. Although the Catrice one, <coughs> I'm recovering from bronchitis. Uh, the Catrice one does have, have I think, shimmer. a little bit of shimmer in it. So it does make you look a little more dewy. Uh, this is the Make Revolution Sport Fix. This is basically the all nighter dupe. Um, so it does help a little bit with longevity. And it's I mean, not as good as the Ofra one. The Ofra setting spray, the Ofra setting spray is, is, is like locked down. It's just super fragrant and the super soaker mist is like crazy. So we don't, and we don't typically need long wearing products. So we haven't bought that again, but if you're looking for one, that one's like phenom. But this one I also do really like. This I hated. This is the Kula uh, makeup setting spray. This is the SPF 31. I thought this would be great, you know, add sunscreen to my setting spray and you know, spray on the go protect me. Yeah. And all it did was sting my eyes. Like it's and like smell like Barry Bacardi. Uh, yeah, it smells like alcohol and it hurts. Trauma. Yeah. And like if I if my lips were dry, Lord help me when I sprayed this on my face. I went through this like I like sprayed it on my chest basically because I was like I can't use this anymore. It's horrible. Yeah. And it was freaking expensive, but the bottle was like nice, nice and luxe. Um, and then this is the Mystified Hydrating Facial Mist from Gerard Cosmetics. <laughs> I did a giveaway like six years ago, forever ago, um, right after we started our makeup Instagram, I think. And while this was like ultra, ultra, ultra dewy, it also like had a weird spotty kind of mist. It was like a, a very, very thin moisturizer. 
yeah in a spray bottle yeah so like in some ways i really liked it in other ways i really hated it so i used it as a priming spray most yeah of the time. like a priming spray and by the end of it like it's, it's really gunky in here then again it took forever for us to actually finish it up uh so it might just be expired as to why it was kind of like thicker by the end of it but um yeah i undetermined on my feelings on this honestly um l'oreal lumi glotion if you guys watched our project pan videos no shock um We've been through like so love many of these. This is, if you have somebody in your life that you love, that has light to medium skin, that likes glowy products with minimal to no coverage, buy this. Buy it's this in the shade 903 Medium Glow. It's better than the other ones. It's better than the other ones. The deep shade, clearly not for me. So We I have can't. gotten so many people hooked on this stuff. Like so Everybody many of our friends it. and family have been like hooked on it because it's the perfect wash of color on your face with a little bit of glow to make you feel a little more put together. You look a little more juiced up and radiant, but you aren't wearing a tinted moisturizer and you aren't wearing a foundation. It's not as glowy as Charlotte Tilbury, nor as glowy as Glowlust, um, but this is a wonderful drugstore option and I feel it's more natural, so it's better for the everyday oh, person. Oh, it's so good. Natasha Nuna Foundation X in shade 42. This was actually pretty good in terms of a matte foundation, super thin, super long wearing, made my skin look like fucking porcelain. It did. Fucking Airbrushed. porcelain. So, so good. Best matte foundation I've ever tried in my life. Uh, Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation in the shade Nude Six. Too dark for me. Pans this. Miss her. I miss her. Uh, but face and body radiance. Got me good. And this was Vic shade of the Neutrogena Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, the healthy skin. Um, terrible shade range, wouldn't recommend. Um, in general, I felt this product was a little bit confusing. It was like good sometimes and then bad, bad sometimes. sometimes. So for that reason, I say no. All right, um, Elf CBD Facial Oil. This was really good for sharing out foundations. At the end of the day, too fragrant for my skin. So I used it as a body oil at the end of its life. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh. Um, Mac, what's this called? Painterly Paint Pot. Um, loved it for a long time. Stopped working, unfortunately, because of my oily fucking eyelids. Um, so she's no longer for me. However, the, the colorful versions, yes, they call, call I still want them, yeah. Um, this mini Lila B, a glow face mist. Goddamn, I would never buy the full size. It just ain't worth it. Uh, Pink Honey Brow Soap, loved it at first, stopped working for me completely and entirely. I have no idea what happened. This kept my, like when I had my super huge spiky brows, this is what kept them up and now suddenly I can't use it. Um, there's still a little bit left on the sides, but I did go through most of it and I went through this in under a year, which is pretty good. Yeah, because I, I got it for you for Christmas last year. Yeah. Uh, Milk Kush Lash Primer, baby, you know, you know I love this. The packaging could kill a man. It's a good weapon to have on here. Very, very loud, very intense. Um, this is the best lash primer of all time. However, it is incredibly thickening. Incredibly thickening. So it only works with certain, certain mascaras. mascaras. Um, and it works great as a brow gel. Yes, it does. Generally not great with volumizing mascaras, but some like it was great with long comb on your big. Um, Ulta plumped, plumped up power gloss in Sweet Taffy. Sweet Taffy. How'd you know what I didn't? Uh, my favorite plumping gloss formula of all time, six bucks. Uh, spiciest shit you'll find on the market burns for hours. Oh, burns so for hours. Good. So good. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend. I've been through a ridiculous amount of those. Nyx, uh, the brow glue. I didn't think I liked this. I in fact love it. I in fact very much love it. I actually, this holds a very special spot in my heart. You know why? Because I no longer want brows that stick up to my temples. So for that reason, You've I- finally fallen out of that I stage. love this brow gel. I still like a bushy brow, of course, but um, now I want something with a little bit less grit, a little more flexibility. Yeah, um, and this works really well for me for that reason, because it will fall and you know what you can do? It stays tacky. Stick them Stick right back. It's yeah. a good like everyday brow gel for me. Oh, I don't do my brows with bangs, so like I haven't had to deal with that, but. <laughs> um, this is the Becca Lip Liner in Fearless. This was actually one of my favorite lip liner shades ever of all time. Um, I would totally buy another one if Becca was still in business. All right, Bex. 
Um, this was a NYX lip liner in espresso. Uh, one of my favorites, best brown lip liner ever. It's very neutral. Lastly, I have Salt New York Sculpt and Bronze Cream Tint Pro in the shade Medium. Completely empty, of course. Uh, wonderful product. You guys know how much we love salt. And we have another. <laughs> yep. Big turn. Hi, baby. We're almost done, okay? Just mommy's gonna talk for a couple of minutes and then it's gonna be all done. Okay, you come sit with us for the last bit. Are you sleepy? Oh, you look sleepy. You need to brush your teeth and you need to wash your face off. Yucky looking. Also, for anyone with kids that have light hair, the lime cream guys are the best because they, they come so right out. They come right out and it's so much fun. So much fun for her. Um, so this is the NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. Um, I always rebuy this even though it's not my favorite. Like it's just okay. It just works as a liquid liner. I just don't typically use liquid liner that much. Mm -hmm. um, but this one does like stay in place for me. The, the worst part about it is that it makes my lashes so crusty. So crusty. When I put mascara on after wear, or after using this, it's like, they gotta really like comb through them. Um, but I think this is discontinued. It so is. You can no longer Not, get it. This doesn't work. That doesn't work. Yeah, it's, it's not, a smudger. It's a smudger to smudge out the lip liner. Uh, this is the Becca Under Eye Corrector. Oh, this one's Rachel's. This one's oh. a medium. Um, obviously a great product. Glad that Smashbox took over this and expanded the range at least a little. I don't I care mean, much. It's still not a great range. It's a good apricot colored blush, not peach apricot. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's a good product. This is the Amuse Cosmetics Eyeshadow Primer. You can get this on Shop Miss A for a dollar. It's basically a painterly dupe. Um, not bad for a dollar. It's not bad for a dollar. I, it definitely, it didn't wear as well on me as painterly would, um, but painterly also didn't wear that well on me. So if I were in the market for a painterly thing again, I would probably go this route because it's so much cheaper. And granted, you don't get as much product, but it took me ages to go through this. It took me so long. And the reason I, I put it in a project because I used it for uh, swatches. Yeah, we used it for swatches and I had it in a project can. Don't trip over the cords, okay? <coughs> um, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Tried and true. Tried and true. Yeah, we have another one and I believe we have a backup as well. Um, this is the primer that will keep my eyeshadow on for all Ever. of eternity. All of eternity. The only thing with this one is that, especially if I'm doing a really, really like blown out look, it will like mix kind of weird with my uh, foundation, or, foundation concealer. or concealer if I don't like. Oh, you do? Oh, speak up, we're on camera. Mom, I wanna sit on you! But it does do something funky if I'm not careful, so I have to really, really like blend it out with a brush if I'm doing something really dramatic, but other than that, phenom. Uh, this is one of the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops in Dew Dew. Um, we've gone through like a full size of this and then a set of the minis. Um, this is a great liquid highlighter. It's all, it also works great as a primer if you sheer it out. Um, it's great as a body glow type product. I love any sort of dewy, shimmering moisturizer dewy type drops. thingy. And this was no exception to that. Yeah. Oh, this is a product. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss and Ice. I bought this. I was like... This is an okay gloss. I'm not seeing the hype. And then, and then the hype came. And then I saw it. Like one day I was putting it on, I, I realized one day that I was just wearing it all the time. I was like, oh, I've, I've been putting this on like every day for the last month. And I flew freaking through it too. It's the perfect like milky, milky pink shade. And it's really sheer, but it does add just the slightest bit of milkiness, the slightest. And I loved how cushiony it felt. It was like a watery, almost lip gloss formula. Not long wearing at all, but great for every day. Like this is the perfect purse gloss for me. And I love the packaging also. It does not come with much product though. So just bear that in mind. And I bought another one, but I can't seem to find it. So I bought two other ones. I know where the purse. other one is. It might be in a Columbia somewhere. Ooh, that's where I feel like I had it last. Now this, this is a product that I swear to God is the best thing that's ever happened to me. This is the Milani 18 hour eyeliner in Duchess. It is a like deep shimmery eggplant purpley type color. Um, and I bought another one. Like right when I saw this was getting low, I was like, let me head to Target real quick. It oh, goes with every on. eye look, and it, but it's not a black or a brown. Yeah, it's not a black, it's not a brown. It's cool tone. It's a cool tone plum. It's so, so, 
so beautiful. I literally cannot get enough of it. Wears really well on me, like in my waterline and above. It doesn't wear like perfect in my waterline, but it's close enough to where it's like, this is cheap, so. You guys. I really like it. <laughs> Only have a few more things. This is the Dollface Beauty Fast Faux Extreme Volume Mascara. We got this through some sort of random company that was doing a thingy and Dolphy sent us their stuff and they paid us for like reviews. We like sent them pictures and things, I don't know. Anyway, this mascara was one of them. We opened it, we tried it, we were like, eh, that's the all right mascara. I don't like it. I'll take it off. You don't like it. The dryer this got, oh, it was so good by the end. This was so good by the end. Enough so that I might buy another one at some point. Anyway, I really, really love this. When it got really dry, it was so volumizing, but it has this perfect wand to where it tapers at the end, and it really did give me like a fanned out effect. Ooh, so good. It wore well on me too. Woo. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I have many thoughts on this. Like I could write a, a, a whole paper, a whole on video this. on this, a actually. whole paper. It. I like. I like the wand. I don't like that the wand is bendy. I don't know. It bends so easily. And that's what I don't like about it. Because then it's like, like what if I use a lash primer, especially one that like hardens down a little bit, it's really hard to get it to comb in there. But it did make my lashes look really good. However, however, it does this, not come off. It does not come off for anything. Nobody talks about that. Nobody except Taylor Wynn. I heard her say it once. Nobody else has talked about that. This is not the waterproof version. And I fear for those who buy the waterproof version because how do they get it off their lashes? I have to oil cleanse my eyeballs thrice, at least thrice to get this off. Like it's ridiculous. However, it wears really, really well on me. So it's one of those that we have another one. I do like it. I do recommend it. I do, however, think that sometimes it's more like I would find myself getting another mascara to use instead of this one just because I didn't want to take it off later. Yeah, just because the inconvenience. Then I have the Lottie London, Lottie London Freckle Tint. I still like this and I still use this. It's a great like freck dupe. I've never tried freck, but I assume. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say on that. It's cheap. And they, they, did, it, they did add one more shade that's darker. And then this is Salt New York Contour. This is the third contour I went through. Um, it is, yeah. Oh, don't shut it. They did rename this shade as Taupe, so that's that. But I, I have another backup and I have one that I'm currently using now that has a major pan in it. Um, this is my favorite product of like ever for my base. So 10 out of 10. Is that all we got? That's all we got. Hell yeah. Charlotte, do you want to show what you did to my hand? Can you show the camera? She used this beautiful Makeup Revolution Eye Glisten. Can you show the camera your eye glisten? Mm -hmm. Oh no! It's gone. Is there anything you want to tell our viewers? Can I go get it? Be careful. I got this Makeup Revolution Eye Glisten in a Secret Santa from work and I just thought it was super sweet. They got, they got me the Trendy in Tokyo palette for BH and then that Eye Glisten thing and I just thought it was the I just think it's so sweet <laughs> when people get me Here, makeup. Can you show the camera? I actually like it though. I am wearing the, the glitter on my eyes today. It's wearing really well. You need more of this. Do I need more of that? Yeah. Okay. So, it's cute. Do you want to put some on my face? Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh! Oh, that's All so right, silly. that's bloody. Thank you. All right, well, that is all from us today. Apologies. So I are. Okay, I'm sure this is no longer than our normal videos, but God, it's been a whirlwind to film. Um, so you're probably gonna be seeing more of Charlotte. We're gonna see what we can do to kind of keep her out of the camera view in a lot of videos, just, you know, for privacy reasons. Um, but we love her dearly and she is always in the house. Um, but <laughs> we just don't have a babysitter at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the Charlotte content. Do you want to show them your pink hair and say goodbye? Charlotte, do you want to say goodbye to the camera? No. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. We will get the baby to bed. I will get my face washed. 
um, and my mascara will come off easily. So let's go ahead. Thank you all for watching. We hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.